Um, good evening. My name is Jacob Pichaba, and I'll be I will be presenting my mosquito image classification for big data analytics. Let's get to it. Um, what is my project about? Um, basically, my project is about classifying mosquitoes according to their species. So basically for this project, we have six species of mosquitoes and we were given a data that had about 10,000 photos of mosquitoes that needed to be classified. So basically my project is about classifying mosquitoes according to their species. This is to help um, save time and avoid uh, human errors when it comes to identification of the mosquitoes, meaning if maybe someone has got bitten by malaria or by a mosquito that spreads malaria, they'd be able to figure out which species is sick by using this project. So, yeah. Oh, another thing is the disadvantages of the mosquitoes are uh, they are the vectors of many diseases. So yeah, let's get to it. Um, the common diseases and problems caused by mosquitoes are malaria, dengue, and Zika fever. And another thing is the identification issue that I've mentioned in the introduction that um, the old method of trying to identify Mosquitoes is usually prone to human error and which can endanger a human's life. So these are the common issues that uh, basically we can solve. And my project would be building a deep, mo deep learning model that's going to classify these mosquitoes. Um, the problem as I've mentioned, it's common diseases and the problems that we encounter when it comes to mosquitoes. Uh, mosquitoes are born diseases, and that's a major concern for the public health worldwide. So it's important to know which mosquito has bitten someone. So another thing is, another problem is, Accurately and timely mosquito identification is essential for disease surveillance and control. So basically, accuracy and the identification of mosquitoes is what my project would be trying to implement. And another thing is trying to identify a mosquito on your own. It's an issue because it's time consuming. And if it's time consuming, you're endangering a human's life. So it's much better to use uh, models to identify. So my proposed solution would be to build a deep learning model that's going to be trained using a bunch of images, like I've mentioned in the beginning that um, my model, it's, my data set, I mean, had um, about 10,000 images. So we're going to use those images to test, test them, to test, train, and validate. So meaning I'm going to use 70% of the images to train, and then the 20% it's for testing, and then the 10% it's for validation. So that's the proposed solution for this project. And the results on the results part, we're going to look for the accuracy on the test set, check the confusion matrix, and predict on the outcome of, okay, check the prediction of the outcome and get to see the accuracy and the loss graph. Okay, now I'm going to be demonstrating my project.
Okay. This is the UI of my project. Okay, let's check. Yeah. This is the UI of my project and it's been deployed to run in the local host since I didn't want to deploy it from deploy it to another website. So it's been deployed locally on my local machine to make things easier for me. So as you can see, it says mosquito classification. And what you can do is upload an image with a mosquito in it. And we'll get to it right now and demonstrate how my project is working. Okay, let's upload an image and see what's the, the outcome. Data, final testing. Uh, let's pick this one. One of the images, we're going to use six images to see what's the, the outcome for this. So we're just gonna wait a bit as it's uploading and stuff. Okay, this is the image that I've just chosen and it consists of two Im two mosquitoes. And as you can see, it's saying the species, it's albo pictus and the confidence level. It's quite really low, meaning the accuracy is very low. It's 5.82%. And we'll pick another image and see what's the what's the outcome. I've chosen this one. I'll try to pick a similar image and see if it's a similar thing. We we'll just wait a bit as it's training. As you can see from the black and white lines, it's still the albopictus, but the image is a bit blurry, so. Hence why the confidence score is really low. And we'll choose another image. Uh, just pick this one. Let's see what's the score. This is also Alba Pictures, but the image is really not clear. Hence why the confidence level is still on. I'm choosing the same species. As you can see, it's kind of black and it has a bit of whitish detailing on it to show that it's the same species. Mm, I'll choose another one. This is an owl picture. So as you can see, the confidence level, it's 99%. To show that it's the accuracy level of this is quite good. And I'll demonstrate one more image. Okay, this is the I Cubity. And you can see the confidence level. It's 99.9%. Uh, .9%. So to show that I've classified a few images, a few species, I mean, which is the IGPT and the Ibocalyptus. And then now I'll demonstrate the graph of the accuracy and the loss and the overall results of the project to show you what's the outcome. Okay.
This is the graph for the accuracy. As you can see, it started a bit low and it shot up, but then it couldn't reach the value of one to show that it's not 100% correct. And this is the confusion, ma confusion matrix from all the species. And I'll try to zoom in so you can see for each class the values and also show the graph for the loss. Yeah, this is for the loss, as you can see. And I'll show the overall results now. As you can see, the results are below 20% to show that something is going on with my model and it's not really classifying the classes or the species really well as you can see it's most of them are below 20 percent and it's only the elbow it test which it's the one that was appearing the most from my model that i was showing not so long ago that it's a bit 20 percent and it's supposed to be at least 99 percent to show that uh it's really i think classifying the images according to their species really well so, yeah, for future references, I guess we'll have to use more images to train to avoid having bad results. So, as you can see, the outcome I've just showed and the results, final results of the model, how is it displaying? And as you've seen that our pictures is the only species that was trained well because it had more images for on the training data set. So yeah, basically this is my project and thank you.